Today's episode of Made Your Mitch Trivia is all about the split window, so be sure to stick around. Today's question is why is the split only available in a 63 Corvette? Was it because of customer complaints to GM due to poor visibility out the back window? Was it an agreement between GM styling and performance divisions? Was it because of Ralph Nader and his book Unsafe at Any Speed which also changed other parts of the automotive industry besides rear engine cars? Was it because hot rodders were cutting the splits out to make them custom? If you know the answer, put it in a comment below. So despite popular belief, the actual answer is it was an agreement between Zora Duntoff and Bill Mitchell. Zora Duntoff, who I talked about in the last video, was the chief uh, engineer. He was the one in charge of the performance. And Bill Mitchell was in charge of styling. Uh, Bill Mitchell was influenced, obviously, by a Stingray, which is where the car gets its name. And the, flow, the way that the fenders flow and the spine of the car comes down. Because if you look, the spine starts, or it ends at the back, and it continues the whole way up the roof. And there's a spine that actually continues through the hood. So part of his design element was to have the stinger from a stingray go the whole way through it. And one element that he needed to use to capture that was a split. And the split was also popular in European cars. So because of this design concept of a stingray and because of the European influences like Bugatti, even some Volkswagens and other cars had a split, he wanted to incorporate that. But Zora Duntoff hated the split, it hindered visibility, and he wanted on the racetrack, he wanted to make sure that you could see behind you, that way you could plan your next move, you knew how, who to block, and uh, it was just a little safer. Um, it didn't make sense to Zora because he was all about speed and practicality, this was about styling. Um, so they ended up coming to a deal. Bill Mitchell would be allowed to have the split in the car for one year only, 64 it would go away, which made Zora happy. And that's also evident because the Grand Sports never had a split. And the, the Grand Sport was Zora's baby. When Zora was in charge of that project, the split disappeared. So that's, that's the truth on uh, what happened there. Now there were a lot of complaints because the car only has one mirror. There's no mirror on that side. And there's a rather large bar here. So if you're looking through the rear view mirror, uh, it looks like someone's tailgating you when you're driving. And it can be challenging to back up, which is why I pull in the garage instead of backing like we normally would. Uh, I pull in because it's harder to see and I have a harder time uh, figuring out where I'm at. But if I pull straight in, I can back out because I know I have a lot of room behind me. So you just have to be a little more strategic. It's really not that bad, um, but people like to complain and I'm sure they were unhappy whenever they spent a lot of money. But part of the reason why the split is here too is to celebrate the fact that this is the first year for a coupe. Um, and obviously in 64, they got rid of it. So I have some cool literature here that I just got. This is a Rod and Custom magazine from October 1963. So you can see, you know, October, let's go to our birthday book, which in September of 63, they started making 64s. So there would have been some 64s out when this magazine came out, but I'm not sure about when the photo shoots happen, but there's no split that has a 63 gas door lid. And you can tell by the pillar trim that this is a split window or it was a split window. And that was a very popular thing uh, to cut them out. And I have in here where this car, it raves about its one piece rear glass somewhere in here. It said it was either this one or this book. It said about how it was a custom plastic piece. So this was before, these were cut out before uh, the 64 came out. And here you can see the before and after split. It goes through the steps of how to cut it out and how to modify the trim. And that just hurts seeing someone take a hacksaw to it. But this was a Corvette Customs, which was a hot rod magazine, which is, I didn't realize how tiny this thing is. But in this book, it, tell, it talks about all the hot rod things that people did to vets. And almost every single 63 in here has the split cut out. I think all but one have the split cut out in it. But all the cars built in here are displayed in this one. And most of them have their splits cut out. And it was a popular thing to do 
I guess I would think that the split in it would make it kind of custom looking, but I guess guys like to change things. They like the visibility, so they cut it out. Um, but that was a popular thing to do. Now people were buying other year cars and putting splits in them to make them split windows just because the split window has taken off. Now I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure a lot of people complained about the split, but honestly, I don't know if GM really cared enough to listen to those complaints. They had issues like trying to get the doors to fit and trying to get the windshield to stop leaking. I, I don't think they were really concerned about what people had to say about the back window because it looks cool. But I think it was a bucket list thing for Bill Mitchell to have the split for one year. He got his wish, 64, it was gone. And GM's never gonna put a split in another Corvette because this is hallowed ground. I mean, there's they, they did it in prototypes, but I don't think you're ever gonna see another factory Corvette with a split window. You, you just can't beat the original. So there you go. That is why GM only had a split and a split window for one year. Um, I think Bill Mitchell, if he would have had it his way, 63 to 67 would have all had a split. But that's not the way it happened. And if that was the case, I'm sure a lot of them would be cut out and the split window wouldn't be as iconic as it is today. But since it's only one year, it's a very iconic car. And all you have to do is say a split window and everybody knows, at least in the car culture, they know what you mean like that. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I have a lot more projects coming up and some more Mid-Year Mitch trivia episodes coming up. So I'll catch you guys later.